What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. Wes, how you doing buddy? I'm great, how are you guys doing? Uh, doing swell, doing swell. So today we got uh, Wes's horn blaster train horn mount for his new horn. Again, um, I don't think we're gonna mention quite yet what this horn is. It's gonna be coming here in the next, I think this week. So this is probably gonna be like a two to three day video here of getting this thing mocked up right now, which is what we're doing. So Wes is upgrading from the current horn that he's got on his truck, which is like horn number three. So he's going to horn number four with the horn blasters mount, a bigger air tank, dual compressors, which he's got the two, what are they, Air Z? No, air Max? Air Max. Oh, Air Max, triple X. So right now we're just kind of doing a little bit of mock-up here. Obviously without having the horns, we can't really get a full mock-up, but Wes just wants to see how everything's gonna mount up to this mount. You'll notice this mount looks a little different than the previous ones we've had on the channel. The reason being is the horn setup that he's actually going with like kind of dictates the mounting needs. So whereas everybody else was running like the Horn Blaster Shocker XL kits or the Goliath kits where it had five individual plastic horns that needed to be mounted in five different spots, they required a much bigger mount. The horn that he's going to be running on this truck, um, it mounts from a central location, so it doesn't. It kind of hangs off of this bracket. All right, so apparently Chris is playing uh, musical doors over here. I saw him go to the back. I go to the back. Now he comes to the front. I come to the front. Now he goes to the back. So I guess we're going to, uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find Chris. Hi, buddy. Good stop. Good stop. What's up, Chris? Good to see you, buddy. What's up, dude? Oh, happy day, man. How are you? Oh, look at that. Starbucks delivery and everything. Watch, watch. Wes is going to get pissed right now. Why? They didn't have his drink right? Oh, oh dude, there's no extra extra chocolate shakes I, on there. He, he needs sprinkles. I called him. I was like, dude, they don't have the mint one you want. He's like, yeah, they do. Never mind. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, I got to go piss him off? All right. I don't know. I see one little piece of chocolate in there. Here you go, buddy. Christian, that ain't no cat frappuccino. Chris says, shut up and take it. I told him don't even worry about it. That shit's, it's gonna I already ordered it. It's going to give me the shit. Though. I wanted a frappuccino. One of the other things we got going on today is Chris is going to be, uh, as you know, he already swapped out his subs to, uh, what subs is he running now, Wes? Sundown Audio SA V3. Definitely do hit uh, a lot harder than his old setup. So now he's going to be swapping out all of his speakers. Dang, dude, you got like hard water spots all over this thing. So these are the new speakers. Chris, go ahead and explain these. Uh, Wes uh, is they, busy. Uh, they are the DS18 six and a half with the tweeters in the middle. Um, so what's the benefit of that? Uh, well, it makes it louder. Oh yeah? Yeah. Great. And what kind of dynamic range are we talking? Uh, who, I don't fucking know. Most importantly, how yeah. many ferrets? Well, I gave, you know, I ordered the, the red ones, you know, to match West's truck. Uh, I don't know. Let's play some music. Let's do a little before and after. What are we going to listen to? Alan Jackson? Pressure's on, Chris. Pick a good song, buddy. A little Lincoln Park. All right, this, this is going to bump. Oh. So Wes, what's the benefit of these? Chris didn't really explain it very well. It's supposed to be a more efficient speaker. Um, definitely should be louder with the, the power that he has available. It's a pro audio coaxial. So it's a pro audio mid, and then they put a, a one inch compression driver in the middle or horn tweeter in the center. So it's a pretty efficient speaker. So here's the DD Audio six and a half mid range driver. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller. This is a neodymium magnet uh, motor, so it can be a quite a bit smaller and have the same power. I definitely think this is gonna be a pretty good upgrade. Oh, I hear some music playing. I wonder if they got all the speakers hooked up. I've been inside the shop. So this is uh, obviously not gonna be Wes's whole setup right here. He's running a different horn, but we've mocked it up with my K5LS. I believe this horn blaster's mount is the same for his horns as well as the K5. Sounds good. You happy with it? Yeah. I can't hear you. All right, well, the next time you guys see this whole setup right here, it's gonna be all powder coated and ready for install. Well, we're back day two. I just heard Wes pull up. I hear Wes banging on the door. Yo. Oh, you're back. Yeah, yeah. You're here to repo the truck. The payment didn't go through? Yeah, I gotta come get it. Oh, all right. I'm glad you're here. Come on, take a look at this thing that you sold me. I mean, shoot, I haven't been able to drive it. So we are officially waiting for parts. I will say though, my, my Ford that doesn't leak has officially started leaking. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's the angle, probably not, but. Are you like a uh, CarMax? Is there like a 72 hour warranty? Or, you know, if I don't want it, you'll come get it? You just missed it, Seven, was it 74 oh. hours? <laughs> so Wes's horns actually did show up today and he got something really uh, different, something we haven't seen. And the thing with these Nathan horns is there's like a whole subculture of what makes certain horns certain models. And there's a lot that goes into it. Wes's version here is one that none of us had ever even heard of, but we're gonna try to explain it to you here right now what we got or what Wes got. We thought he was getting a K3LA, which 
it's kind of that, but not really. So explain Wes, good luck. So I'm still kind of confused on the whole thing, but the Nathan Airchime no. K-Series horns, there's hundreds of variations because the manifolds are very universal. So in this case here, these are both considered, their K-Series, this is a K3, meaning it has three different horns on it, essentially three bells. This is the K5, it has five different. Next letter after the, the number, is whether it's a low mount or a high mount, the profile. So if you've ever seen them where you'll see them stacked like two facing that way and three facing that way, it would still It's be basically like the, say, the first horn that you got from Air Horns of Texas. Kind of. Where, the, the, yeah, they're, they're on either side of the manifold. Right, so that would be considered like the high mount. So say a K5 or HA, HA. it would be an HA. So you would have like three here and then there'd be little connections up here for the manifold and they would face backwards or whatever. <laughs> Those are the high profile mounts, not really usable for trucks and stuff because you just don't have the, that space. So in the case of this horn here, I, he, he said he was gonna send me a K3LA. This ends up, I looked it up, it's actually a K3LL. So it's the low profile, but they swap out this bell, which would make it a K3LA. This is called the 4A bell. They swap it out with this really long 1L. Low I don't know exactly what the L stands for, but to me it's always long. So well, it's the frequency. It's like the, uh, I'm not a musician, but yeah, what octave with, is that? It's, it's an octave. Like, gotcha. thing, so I actually did some research, here. but it actually, it, the L is the longer variation of the horns, which usually means they're deeper. So you can get, this is a, uh, K five LA, but you can get the K five LLA, which actually has the longer bell in the middle. K five LA uses the one, two, three A, four A, and five, which is what this is. The K three LA would use the one, two, and the four A. So it would use the one, the two, and then it would have this bell on this manifold with it. That would make it a K three LA. So since it uses the one L instead of that four A, it becomes a K three LL. One of the things with, when you get to like the Nathan series, a lot of guys are really chasing that sound. That's why they have so many variations of different bells is there's that certain sounds that like Amtrak uses, there's certain sounds that different uh, railroads use and everybody really has their specifics. And the thing that Wes is mentioning, I know it's kind of hard to see, but each one of these bells does have a number on it. So you're basically playing with the variation of bells. They all do mount up to the same manifold. So we're still waiting on Wes's mount to come back uh, from powder coat, but being that the horn showed up a little bit early, we want to give it a little test today and see what it sounds like uh, running off of half inch airlines. We're actually going to be doing an upgrade away from half inch airlines. These do come with a half inch MPT inlet on them, along with some plugs here that I heard you can also run in uh, more air to. In this case, we're gonna go with a, uh, it'll be half inch MPT to three quarter inch air tubing. So we'll have a three quarter inch dump valve from our tanks, along with three quarter inch line, and then it'll go down into that. So the thing with these horns, I mean, it's just, you need sheer volume of air. You need high pressure air, but you need volume of air. It's not like the plastic horns. I don't know, I've never run one on three quarter inch line. All of mine have always been half inch. Um, let's test this one on half inch right now, see what it sounds like. All right. And then that'll give you guys a comparison if you're ever setting up your horns on your truck to see if you want to run half inch. Uh, a lot of the cheaper horns run like three eighths lines, but obviously once you get to the bigger or more horns, you need that airflow. Now, normally when we do these uh, sound tests, it's on a weekend or a after hours when nobody's here. Everybody's here working today, so I'm sure they're really gonna enjoy this. We're at about 140, 550 PSI, half inch airline, half inch dump valve, three gallon tank. Here goes nothing. Oh, don't worry, you go stand behind it. That like makes your eardrums like <laughs> vibrate. No, I actually like that. I like how low that is. It's gonna sound different than everybody else. The horn blasters are a much higher pitch. The K5 LAs are significantly higher pitched. Those are nice and low. I actually kind of like it. It gives you like that rumble. You pissed off Sergio. It was too loud. All right, here we go. This is from West's side. Wow, dude. I hope it fits though. I think the mount I ordered is for the K3LA, which doesn't have that long bell, which is like three inches longer than the longest yeah, bell. Yeah, should be all right. So we're back day 42 on uh, Wes's Horn Project here. Getting, uh, we got the mount back right here. Looking good, buddy. Getting the Air Max XXX 580s mounted up right now. Look at this giant three quarter inch valve over here. This thing is absolutely massive. I mean, look at the fitting size right there. And the hose itself is giant. There's half inch compared to three quarter. Not very flexible though. 
This <laughs> stuff is stiff. I gotta give a shout out to Horn Blasters for Horn the Blasters uh hooked it up. We got we got shirts, we got flag, we got, we got banner flags, we got everything. We got the wicked mount. Oh dude, Chris! Bro! Bro! I'm gonna give Chris a gift here. Happy birthday to you! There you go, buddy! Happy birthday, Chris! Hold on, let me take uh, everybody's payroll out of there. There you go. You don't, okay, get, you don't get the paycheck. <laughs> Bro, you gotta open it on camera. No, no, no. Come on, Jeez, Chris. Come on, Chris. Fuck? How old are you today? 38? <laughs> <laughs> right around there. Hold on, let's check the hairline. Woo! Woo! All right, I guess we're using uh, my truck for testing. Yeah, you wanna start it? <laughs> that airline is so big. So we're just gonna charge up the tank right now. We wanna hear what it sounds like with the three quarter line because we've never heard one with that much air flowing to it. Like I said, Previously, these uh, horns require a lot of air. If you look at the size of the diaphragms in the back there compared to any of the plastic horns, they're massive. You got 150? Yeah. All right, here we go. 150, three quarter inch air line. That three quarter line definitely moves some more air. Dude, how are you standing behind that and doing that without plugging your ears? Bro, even cover my ears, that thing hurts. All right, well, testing is done today. I believe tomorrow we're going to be pulling all of Wes's old horn off, and hopefully that fits, because that is a, yeah, that's a huge setup. Wes isn't sure if it's gonna fit, so here goes to day four or five, I don't know. This is the longest spread out day video I've ever made in my life. See you guys tomorrow. Well, day 18,253. Hopefully today this thing is done. How many piece nuggets we get today? I just got a full rate bowl. <laughs> Oh, dude, we went fishing? Nah, I just bought this. Another one? I did. <laughs> Offer up deal of the day. We got, ooh. We got a Pen Fathom 25. Cheap little, cheap little pull, but a decent combo, so. Well, I'm gonna assume you didn't pay a whole lot for it if it was Offer up deal of the day, so it was worth whatever it is. Yeah, so I lowballed the guy down from 200 bucks to $130, so. Said he used it once on like a one day little charter thing or whatever. I just needed a little heavier duty pull, so. Not for catching sharks. Got, got my fishing license. Dang, man, it's official? Everybody on YouTube, comment in the comments what a fishing license in your state or town or city, I don't know if it's statewide or what, what it costs over there. Because in California, I believe it's got to be the highest in the, in the 50, 50 something bucks. For a year? For a, for a year, but it's not a year from the day. It starts on the first of the year, so they don't prorate it either. So you're paying for the full year, even though it's already half the year is gone. Well, and can't you only fish on Saturday, Sundays, and Wednesdays? I don't know all of that, but they got all these one pull, two pull. Get Wes's truck back in here. First things first, gotta remove all the old setup that he's got. This setup's already sold, right? Yeah, Bryant's pretty much sold. All right, so this setup's gonna be going to Bryant. Oh man, it's gonna look a lot better than this U-bowl threaded rod hanger system you built here. Oh, it's water. get a pull test. So what happens when you do shit at night. This thing ain't even tight, dude. Hey, man. We're about to be upgraded from this, Wes. Don't worry. So we had to move a lot of stuff that Wes had already put in place, like his rock lights that were right here, because that new big plate that's going to be going on there from uh, Horn Blasters pretty much sits flush up against this portion right here. So these all get relocated once we figure out where we can put them. Everything has been removed. Wes is going to be doing all new wiring from the battery back. On his old setup, he was just running one small relay because he only had one compressor. Regular 40 amp Bosch style. They, uh, it works for one compressor, 20 amp compressor, or whatever, but I'm going to run this Stinger 80 amp uh, little high current relay. So obviously, dual compressors, you want to bump up your relay. And those little plastic ones are prone to failing. So. They get wet and they do short out pretty pretty easily. So the good thing about these all-in-one brackets is install is pretty simple because you can essentially build everything off the truck other than a little bit of wiring. The bad thing is trying to lift this entire thing into place. They're not fun to maneuver. Look at this special delivery. You got to do a burnout while you hand it to me. All right, boys, moment of truth. Let's bolts. see if she fits. One big bolt. Yeah, you go. What the I am all that is man. What's Ooh, wrong? Ooh, that's bad. Are we not fitting? Oh, you got plenty of room to slide that whole thing forward, though. Yeah. But you're going to not clear that. So it ran into a little issue. 
all the little fittings on the back of the tank there are, we think will be better if we turn the whole thing around even though like your little air pressure gauge and stuff is now going to be over here but well, at least it'll... remote now right. uh, with these horn blasters uh bracket oh that's a pleasant sound they use the factory hitch bolt for the front right there but then you have to drill holes in the back which wes is doing right there you gotta drill those holes for these little 90 degree brackets that they include. Um, these didn't exactly line up right, so we had to redrill our own holes. Coffee. And Bob's your uncle. All right, so we've moved everything we think we needed to move. We've slid everything any which way we can. It's gonna still a really tight fit, but I think it's gonna work about as good as it can. Hey, notice the non-symmetrical Yo, get that valve off my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Brackets ain't really lining up, but okay. Oh, there, Rockley, ain't lining up either. So we got the bracket and everything in. Wes right now is finalizing some wiring. Steiner's working hard. Chris is working hard. Yep, that's the right amount of airline there, boys. Got it. That'll work. All right, time to blow into it. Uh, We're gonna see if it, if it goes off. Your little thingy will fit in it. Hold on, we're putting the hitch on. The hitch that won't fit? Yeah, it'll fit. Actually, there we go. Oh, uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, stuff. yeah, look at that. It fits perfect. Look at that. Yeah, now get the arms on. Oh, the arms. We don't need the arms. That's overrated. That's the the arms are for people that really tow. So, truck's pretty much done. We're going to pull it out here and uh, get a little Hornet test. Hey, Wes, is that your new ride? That's his backup yeah. wheels, dude. LOL surprise. <laughs> Found that outside of the dumpster. <laughs> Why'd you take it? Because I'm going to sell it. Just hold it. Off the bottom of the fucking truck. Yeah, we'll clean that thing. Dang, dude. I charged up in fees around here. Anybody need some LS headers? They're going to be right here. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it only took uh, 6,000 days to install this on West's truck, but it's finally done. So with that, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. Now, Jesus, dude. Hey, Prime TV, anybody want one? Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortabarrel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.